hi guys welcome to this video where i will be showing you the simple steps to take so you can successfully confirm and then um, book your interview all right first of all depending on the platform where you might be booking your interview from but i'm going to be using a popular job site like track.jobs for the demonstration in this video on how you can uh, book and confirm your interview all right but the steps are the same regardless of the platform where you will be booking a next job interview all right so for the sake of um for the purpose of demonstration of this video this is the interview that needs to be um booked and confirmed right here on track all right you might be sent an email okay this is what interview invitation notification looks like on um, track.jobs all right, let me just log out and log in again so that you see that um, I'm actually logging into a re account. All right, so okay, just put in your username and then enter your password and click on sign in. Okay, I've done. I've done just that. Once you are logged in, this is what you may have to also check your mail. You may be sent an email. You have been invited for an interview. All right, I'm going to be um, opening this email right now. The one from Anku Lutra on track invitation to remote interview this uh, interview will be done remotely which means that i do not need to be present uh, at the interview venue all right i've applied for this job as an international applicant all right so you may want to click through it and see what the message is, is about all right so this is the content of the message all right you can decide to click on it from here and you'll be taken straight to the platform where you'll be booking the interview if you click on it you'll be taken back to your page where you'll be able to log in this is on the right hand side you are seeing booked appointment this is the um the interview appointment that has already been booked all right you can uh, decide to book it from here from your dashboard you can also assess your interview bookings from the applications tab Okay, now I've clicked on the application tab. What you can see from here now is that on this track, the jobs account, there are over 761 applications that have been made. This, this comprises of both the submitted applications, the interview, uh, the applications where you need to be interviewed. Then, then if you have a job offer, the a conditional or conditional job offer to be on this offer um, a tab, then um, applications that you are unable to submit. And then now it has it has passed the deadline to be there too. Then if there's any application that you might have withdrawn yourself or that the recruiting agency or organization might have also withdrawn, you also see it from the withdrawn tab. Then on here you're having unsuccessful applications, about 408 successful applications. This comprises of both the um the ones where you made you made it uh, uh, through the interview, but after the interview, you were not shortlisted. Uh, to have an employment or probably you you made it during the interview but during their further checks they realize that you are international like for these applications that are being made of this account it is always made as an international applicant that is an internationally educated um, nurses is that you click on them um, interview interview i've clicked on interview link then you see the interview that have been booked and the ones that have not been booked remember we said we are going to be booking for this one that says virtual world nurse slash physiotherapist that is what we have here in, uh, invitation to remote interview okay this is the job uh, reference all right so um we'll click on it you come down here you see look where you have this book your interview click on book your interview all right after clicking on book your interview you can just scroll down to see what the options are like they are saying remote interview you have been invited to remote interview on may fourth 2023 you will be checked in the next available time slot on that day so about you in this case they are saying do you have disability that requires any special arrangement to help you attend the interview or support you during the interview such as an interpreter in this case it will be no then yeah they are saying please enter your email address for the remote interview depending on what it is like in most cases if the interview is going to be done physically you will not be asked to enter your email address but since they are saying it's going to be an, a, a remote interview, which means that it will be conducted live, either through the top three uh, interview conducting applications like um, 
Microsoft Teams web-based life size. All right, you just enter your email here. Now I'm going to enter the email. Okay, just pop up. Okay, all right. So the email has been entered. Then you come down here. You see select the time slot. Most times you don't have the option to select time slot. The time when the interview will be conducted has already be uh, be stated. So all you just need to do is just to click on the book interview tab. You click on it. So there you have it. Automatically you have booked your interview. All right. Then you will now see your interview book summary. The dates when. The tabella has been booked for which is made for it, and the time is going to be 12 noon. All right, 12 noon that day, and the interview is going to be conducted remotely. Okay, let's see the booking confirmation. Okay, this is the booking, is this is the history now. On the 15th of April, uh, the job application was submitted. On the 15th of April, the application was submitted, then the vacancy for this position was closed on the 20th of April. And then um, just about a few days after, which is on the 28th of April, that's almost about two weeks after, an invitation to attend the interview was sent. And then um, just right now, I've just booked the interview. And the interview is going to be coming up 4th of May 2023. The time for this interview is going to be 12 p.m. Let's see if we have any email for our, our booking confirmation. Here we have it now. An email has been sent to show that our interview has been successfully booked all right thank you for confirming that you would like to attend your interview for job please be aware that the interview will be hosted remotely all right that means that i do not need to be present at the venue where the interview will be conducted all right i will just need to be sent an application to attend this interview remotely either through microsoft teams like i said or through webex or life size these are the favorite top three applications that most organizations use for conducting their interviews all right you can click back on these applications to see the options that you are having here you cannot see now that it's not popping up here that um, the very first option here because on this account it is sorted by last update and the last update is just the interview we just booked three while ago is appearing here all right that is it guys let me also say that um you make applications for for jobs and you are invited for an interview all right if you not you will not be able to attend the interview physically especially for those that are international applicants just send them an email and tell them hello i'm an international applicant i would like my interview to be arranged remotely and the link to attend this interview online to be sent across in most cases in fact from my experience once 10 requests is made for them to make an arrangement for a remote interview for you out of that 10 requests you are always guaranteed to have like it's a successful response that yes we'll be happy to arrange um a remote interview for you so guys that is what it is and i hope that um you have now known how to successfully book and confirm your interview. Like I said, I just use this platform, hap.track.jobs, which is one of the most popular uh, platform for landing your dream jobs in the UK. All right. So, and for this position, it is as an internationally educated registered and nurse. All right. So if you have any questions, guys, just drop them in the comment section below this video. If you enjoyed this video, uh give it a like and then if you want to see more general content like this make sure you subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button thank you for watching